Hi guys, today we have our Wednesday video. As you can see, it's another solo effort for me because my mum is at work today. Today we've got a question from Mean Square and what they've asked is about the songs that Charlotte liked and the music Charlotte liked, as well as some of the charity work that Charlotte did and how that was organised um, and how that was arranged and what she actually set out to do there. I think the best place to start in terms of Charlotte's musical preferences would definitely be Christmas. We all know that Charlotte loved Christmas. And if you didn't, I can overlay some photos you may not have seen of Charlotte at Christmas. We had the one a few videos back with the funny hat on that video. Um, the Father Christmas hat that waved around. And her favourite song at Christmas was My Mum and I Believe, uh, Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You. If you haven't heard it, it's a good track. Uh, I'm going to try and overlay some of these tracks on the audio as I'm speaking. If they work, that would be great, but they might not do because I might not be able to find them. So that would definitely be a firm favourite. I know Charlotte absolutely adored that song due to its connotations with her favourite time of the year. Charlotte was a really big Michael Bublé um, fan. I can't remember the exact song. I think it's I Haven't Met You Yet. I think that's what it's called. I don't know how it goes, but I need to have a look on the computer and see if I can find it. I'm sure you guys will know how that one goes. But yeah, big um, Michael Bublé fan. I think she had Christmas CD with a lot of covers by him on it. Um, which she was very fond of playing in the car. Me personally, I'm not the biggest fan, so I remember that one well, that CD. Two really firm favourites, again, obviously this is kind of a top five, are 9 to 5, Dolly Parton, I think everyone knows that one, and also Celine Dion's Titanic rendition for the um, movie theme. Charlotte would drive us all to the borders of insanity with her cover of My Heart Will Go On. I cannot tell you. <laughs> Um, how much she sang that song, um, and she parried it. It wasn't really a serious version, which made it even worse because it was all kind of um, pseudo operatic and um, just very loud, really. So that was another favourite um, in combination with Dolly Parton song, which she adored, which actually I really like. That's a great song, um, Nine to Five. She was also a really big fan of Olly Murs. Again, I can't remember the exact song. It's um, the one that goes, I just want you to dance with me tonight, and I'll find that one, I'll find the actual name of it. Again, it's a good song, and I can definitely see why she liked it. Um, so yeah, I suppose all those songs are generally, well, a good four out of those five. Bell and Titanic one are happy songs, and um, with upbeat melodies, and I think that's kind of what Charlotte enjoyed in her music, was things that were uplifting, because I think that's a message that she wished to spread around, you know, happiness and self-belief and all those kind of good things. The charity work we'll get onto now. Charlotte's charity work was quite diverse. She did a lot of stuff um, as a charitable person. She went into schools um, and talked with year 10s, so that would be 15, 14 year olds, about cancer. Um, and she discussed how, despite her appearances, because she was looking very well at the time, she was actually suffering from a very severe type of brain tumour. And she just wanted to educate, really. That, I think that was her mission, was to make people aware that actually some of these symptoms you might get with these cancers, you really should get them checked out. And um, just to tell people about her own journey, I think. She also did a lot of stuff for the cancer charity Click Sergeant. I'm sure you've all seen the I'm Still Here video, which is a fantastically edited piece of video and audio um, that was done by Charlotte and a production company, film company, editing company in London. They were all lovely as well. And secondly, she did the Race for Life. Um, I think it was in Stanford Park in Sussex. I need to double check that. I'll put a correction if I'm wrong. But she did that and she stood up in front of a lot of people and I'll overlay the video for that because it was quite incredible and I was certainly very envious of the way she could just stand up in front of people and be so coherent and articulate. So I'll put that video up. Thanks. Charlotte has a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel, Charlotte? It's just under my name, Charlotte Eads. Charlotte Eads, so do check out her YouTube channel. So Charlotte, please tell us a bit about yourself. Um, I am 18 years old and I have brain and spinal cancer. So when were you diagnosed with, uh, with, your, with your cancer? How old was I? Oh, 16. And uh, was that hard at 16? Uh, yeah, because uh, I was actually diagnosed on the day of my prom, which is uh, pretty depressing, um, but also when you're trying to be a teenager anyway, and then being struck with something like cancer, yeah, it's incredibly diff difficult. Yeah. So the medication is quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we once came home uh, with £12,000 worth of chemotherapy. So that's exactly what we're raising money for today. Treatment like this. How is this affecting your life day to day, Charlotte? 
Um, it's, I'm starting to get my life back on track, but I still have the cancer and I still have to take chemotherapy. But yeah, it's it's now become one of those things. But you, you, you did say that you won't be losing your hair, so that's... Yeah. Um, I don't lose my hair with my chemotherapy, which I'm really fortunate to not have to lose it. I did lose it before though, but now I'm just keeping it as it is, so... Oh, well, thank you. Please give Charlotte a massive round of applause. Really, really brave being here today. And uh, we're running for people like Charlotte today, so thank you so much, Charlotte. So yeah, I guess... Charlotte's charity extended into a lot of different areas, and I suppose in some ways her YouTube videos were the ones that are more cancer orientated, were charitable in the way that they were so candid. I think they were very honest, they were very frank, and they gave people an insight into a world which hopefully none of you will have to endure. So yeah, no, thanks, thanks for asking those questions, Mean Square. I think they're really important. I really like the music ones as well. So I say I'll try and get the music on there. If I can't do that, um, I'll put the names of the tracks, and you guys can find them if you haven't heard them already. And thank you for asking about the charity stuff, because I think it's important to continue Charlotte's work and for my mum and I to just push forward in um, raising acknowledgement and awareness of glioblastoma specifically, which is the highly dangerous and almost in all cases lethal brain tumour that she eventually died from. So thank you for your questions. We'll be back on Sunday. Again, I think we're going to talk more about the cancer on Sunday. Again, if you want to stick any comments or suggestions in the box below, in the comment section below rather, that would be great. I'll put the links for Twitter and Facebook on. The Twitter won't be on the screen, the Facebook won't be in the description box. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I hope you all have a um, nice Wednesday afternoon. It's a bit rainy here in Brighton and it has been all day, so hopefully you guys are getting a bit more sun where you are. But yeah, thank you and um, bye guys. <laughs>